Wallace Stevens once mentioned that human nature is like water, it adapts to the shape of its container. This same principle applies to humans. You can influence anyone, just like water conforms to any vessel. You can use this positively to make someone deeply fall for you. Robert Greene extensively studied the art of persuasion and seduction. In this video, I will share seven intense, dark psychological tactics that can help you persuade anyone. However, I urge you not to use these techniques to harm others. Apply them positively. Number one, use scarcity to increase desire. People naturally place more value on things that are less available. This principle can be effectively used in love and relationships. By making your time and attention somewhat limited, you create a sense of urgency and increase your perceived worth. But how can you use scarcity without appearing uninterested or like you're playing games? The key lies in finding a balance. Ensure you're genuinely dedicating time to your passions, whether it's your career, hobbies, or personal growth. This will not only enrich your life but also naturally limit your availability, making the time you do give more valuable. When you're with her, be fully engaged and present, making those moments count. Then, when apart, focus on your goals and interests. This approach helps maintain your individuality while also leaving her eagerly anticipating your next encounter. By integrating scarcity, you're not playing hard to get. You're simply leading a fulfilling life that others want to be a part of. This technique heightens your appeal, turning your presence into something she desires. Number two, start small, then go big, foot in the door technique. This strategy is similar to planting a small seed and watching it grow into a large tree. It works because our minds prefer consistency. When someone says yes to a small request, their brain associates themselves with being agreeable to that person. So, when a larger request is made later, they are more likely to say yes again to maintain consistency. For example, if you ask someone whether they like ice cream, a simple question, they'll likely say yes. Later, you can ask if they want to get ice cream with you, a bigger ask. Since they already said yes once, they're more likely to say yes again. This method is effective because it aligns with our natural tendencies. We enjoy being consistent with our prior decisions, which makes us feel good. By starting with a small, easy ask, you open the door for bigger things to happen naturally. This technique helps people keep saying yes, facilitating smoother relationship growth. Number three, become mysterious. Psychology tells us that humans are inherently curious and we are attracted to the unknown. When something is a bit mysterious, it piques curiosity and draws people in. You can use this to your advantage by keeping some aspects of yourself under wraps. Don't reveal everything about yourself all at once. Think of yourself as an onion. She gets to peel away one layer at a time, each one making her more curious about the next. Share a little about yourself, but save some details for later. Let her earn the privilege of learning more about you. When she feels like she's uncovering your personality and life story piece by piece, it keeps the dynamic interesting and engaging. In short, maintaining a bit of mystery makes her more invested in you and keeps the spark alive in your relationship. Number four, master the push-pull technique. This tactic is about mixing things up to keep her intrigued. Sometimes you'll give her plenty of attention and make her feel special. This is the push. But then you switch it up by pulling back and focusing on your own goals, like working out, studying, or advancing your career. This unpredictability keeps her on her toes because she can't fully anticipate your next move. When you push, she feels wanted. When you pull back, it triggers her natural desire to chase what seems just out of reach. It's like a game where she's trying to keep up with you and that keeps the excitement alive. This strategy shows that while you're interested in her, you're not dependent on her. You have your own life and goals, making you more attractive and harder to pin down. Number five, create a triangle of desire. This tactic involves subtly showcasing your value by letting her know that other people find you attractive or interesting too. People are naturally drawn to what others desire. 
It's like when everyone's talking about a new, cool product. You're more likely to want to check it out yourself. The same applies to relationships. When she sees that others are interested in you, it elevates your appeal. It's not about making her jealous or anxious. It's more about reminding her that she's with someone who is valued by others too. Sprinkle small hints that show you're well-liked or admired. This will subtly increase your worth in her eyes and make her appreciate being with someone who stands out. Number six, make her feel like she's the only one. This strategy is about making her feel special and like your top priority when you're together. It's not just about what you say, but how you act. Listen closely, remember the little details, and show her you genuinely understand her. Everyone wants to feel like the main character in someone else's story. When you give her your full attention and make her feel like she's the most important person in the room, it strengthens your bond. It signals to her that you're someone she can trust and be close to. So, when you're with her, put away distractions like your phone, maintain eye contact, and fully engage with her. This will make her feel valued and appreciated. Number seven, employ mirroring and matching. Mirroring and matching are subtle yet effective psychological techniques to foster a deeper connection. This method involves mimicking the other person's body language, speech patterns, or behaviors in a way that feels natural. When done correctly, it makes the person feel more comfortable and understood, strengthening the bond between you. For example, if she leans in while talking, lean in slightly as well. If she gestures with her hands, subtly incorporate similar gestures. It's crucial to be subtle. It shouldn't come off as copying, but rather as synchronizing with each other. You can also match her speech patterns. If she speaks softly and slowly, adjust your tone and pace to match. This creates a sense of harmony and comfort, making her more likely to feel connected to you. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. These tactics are meant to enhance your relationships, not manipulate or harm others. Always use them ethically and with genuine intentions. Building trust and connection should be your ultimate goal, not just gaining control over someone. Now, before wrapping up the video, I'd love to hear your thoughts on persuasion and seduction. Feel free to share your experiences in the comments, and I'll be reading every single one. I might even highlight the most inspiring ones in a future video. And if you're looking to hear more unfiltered wisdom, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.